Good day, adventurers, and welcome back for another Warf Imperium session here in Ragnarok GGH. We are your casters. My name is MG. And this is James, and welcome, welcome, everyone, for our War of Imperium session for tonight. Yes. It's a uh, holiday season, so yeah. yeah, a lot of people are, you know, kind of in their holiday spirits yeah. right now. So. <laughs> So actually, first things first, MG, what did you have for actually, what did you have for dinner in Christmas Day? Oh, speaking of dinner, uh, we had uh, spaghetti and meatballs, then uh, a Ooh. Filipino dish uh, called menudo. There you go. Ah, so how's Christmas Day for you, MG? Uh, it's good. Uh, I'm actually really full, like, uh, I mean, in terms of... <laughs> That's eating. expected, right? <laughs> yeah, actually my mom cooked... Uh, I mean, one of my favorite dishes, which is the uh, the menudo uh, in the in the Philippines. So yeah. Ah, uh, so can you describe what menudo is? It's actually <laughs> it's a uh, tomato-based uh, food. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we use pork there. You have carrots. You have um, liver. Is that liver? Yeah, I think liver. Yeah, it's liver. It's liver. Then <clears throat> some uh, potatoes. There you go. Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, hold on to that thought, MG, as one team, one goal is actually Ooh. pushing in on... Oh, what? Wow. Suicidal destruction, though. My Opus Day. Wow. Just wiping out the forces of one team, one goal right there. That's, that's a first. Okay, okay. So we got stopped briefly there for a bit, but yeah, continue, <laughs> MG. <laughs> yeah, and of course, uh, rice. It's actually oh, uh, yeah, yeah, best it's a given. with rice as well. Then for mm -hmm. my for my dessert spaghetti. <laughs> what <laughs> spaghetti for dessert? Come on now. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No. After eating menudo, uh, I ate a bit of spaghetti. Then for uh, for my dessert, ice cream, vanilla, a classic plain vanilla ice cream. That's it. Ah. Okay. That's very that's nice. Well, for me, uh, mm -hmm. Christmas was was fine. Yeah, it's uh, the same as. <laughs> Last year, you know, um, gathering of relatives and family, of course, yeah. and we had some uh, dishes, a lot, a lot of pasta. Oh, okay. <laughs> we so had a lot of pasta. Yeah, yeah. So, so we had carbonara, we have uh, pesto, sauce. Okay. we have pesto. spaghetti, we also had sauce. lasagna. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> and uh, to top it all off, we also have a uh, pancit malabon. <laughs> Oh, okay, so no rice uh, dishes. Uh, we had or, we had rice, rice there, okay. but I, I didn't get rice, of course. Yeah, yeah because we had, we had a lot of pasta and yeah, exactly. uh, a lot of uh, meat as well. Mm -hmm. It's actually good. Yeah, but yeah, Christmas is fine. Yeah, it's still the holiday season. Con uh, technically, it's still considered Christmas, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and it is now December 27. Only a few days before we enter 2023. <laughs> Actually, you know, MG, I'm going to I'm going to ask you this first, and I'm also going to ask the viewers if mm -hmm. you can share with us. What's your New Year's wish? New Year's so, wish. What's your New Year's wish for yourself? And what's your New Year's wish for ROGGH? Oh. Okay, so our viewers, good. please answer that as well. You can type it in the chat in our comment section right here. And of course, please stay tuned in as we are giving away codes. Hopefully, MG doesn't forget. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so make sure to stick around. Of course, codes are going to be given away. MG is going to be a little bit generous for tonight yes. and uh, to, to into putting out more codes. So uh, the items you can get from the codes are three battle and job manuals, level 10 blessing scrolls and agi scrolls, yep. five mystic powders and five tears of blessing. blessing. So for the scrolls, the blessing and agi scrolls, you'll get 10 pieces each. So make sure yeah. to keep tuning in as codes are one time use only first one to redeem the code that will be able to claim the rewards. All right, so MG, back to my question. Mm. All right, so, uh, you, you, you can take some time to think about it, right? <laughs> New Year's wish for myself. Yeah, your maybe, New Year's uh, wish more... for yourself and for ROGG. Maybe for me, like, um, first, maybe more biking for me. Uh, biking? Yeah, I like to bike a lot before. Uh -huh. Then second, maybe, uh, 
uh, focus more on, on, on the uh, streaming because lately I've been really lazy on doing streams. Ah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I, need I to can work. see that. <laughs> yeah, because I, cause I really need to work on my uh, stats on the on, on my page because it's almost uh -huh. there. It's almost there. I just need a bit of uh, like just more a little bit more, it. right? Yep. Ah, uh, so yeah, that's probably a good. How about you? Um, <laughs> New Year's wish, but I I I'm not. I don't sure if I consider that a wish. Maybe your wish will be that your page will grow bigger. Bigger, I, think, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah. bigger Hopefully, and stronger. Hopefully. All right. Well, for me, I'm just uh, wishing for more opportunities uh, in the following year, yeah. or for better opportunities for the following year, and uh. Yeah, to have more stability in myself and in the things wow. I do. Does, right. does it include the love life or not that? Uh, uh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It depends. But yeah. for our GGH, my wish for our GGH is to, is to um, you know, have more players come in. I wish. Yeah, definitely. Have more players definitely. come in. Yes. Have um, better events and have. Um, uh, land events? Is that, does it include land events? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly, uh, I prefer the on-ground events, right? Yes, yes. yes. But uh, more events, you know, the, everything is fine for our GGH. But I'm just wishing for more people to come in, for more players to come back, and for more, um, you know, for more events. That's what yeah. I wish from our GGH. Alright, so as one team, one goal is pushing in on Opus Day right yeah. now, I'm not sure. How people or that, how that royal guard just quickly passed by these group of people from Opus yes. Day here in uh, the Imperium Room in Fadgood Castle. As you can see, things are uh, getting a little bit uh, heavy right now yes. for MVP Warlord right here as he got dismounted. He's trying to use that vanishing point against uh, that sorcerer of Opus Day, but he is all alone with that Sura. Oh. From one team, one goal. That's Sura still alive. Windmill, Tiger Cannon from plus 100. Very, very strong. But I'm not sure if that did a lot of damage against Opus Day right here. As they are still alive, maybe that safety wall did something for them. But yes. as uh, Eradicator, that mechanic got actually caught by that manhole coming from his teammate. That reminds me of something. That, <laughs> this is similar to how I saw it from... Uh, Adonis. Adonis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just that uh, their shadow chaser is just catching his teammates or his guildmates uh, with that manhole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. But I think uh, that's just a um, mistake or I just didn't see that. But plus one iron, very, very strong, still alive. I'm not sure how he is still alive right there. He's just uh, quickly passing by Opus yeah. Day right now. But yeah, I think uh, they will be able to kill him uh, very soon as they have a lot of players here in the Emperor. Oh, yes, I think uh, he's just uh, trying to buy some time for his uh, game mm -hmm. right now. And if he is doing that, he's actually doing a very good job on stalling everyone. But again, uh, Opus Day versus o OTOG, 1 team 1 goal. Mm -hmm. They've been defending this. Uh, this castle or this imperium um, since we started the warfare period so OTOG lost two times already on the attack versus Ooh, uh, Opus yeah, Day. Yeah. It probably because of that suicidal destruction, right? Yeah. Uh, so we have a comment here from uh, Shell. See less and less people playing warfare period now. <laughs> well, probably because it's the Christmas season. Yes. <laughs> it's the Dude, holiday season, on. right? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, everybody is uh, taking a break right now. Probably we'll see a lot of them come back uh, next year. Yeah. Because it, again, it's still still the holidays, right? Yeah. Uh, some of the probably the players went home to their provinces, provinces yeah. or uh, they went home. They spent time with their family and friends. You know, uh, it's fine. I, like it's uh, it's normal for yeah, Aro. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, these players right here, uh, I think they just have enough free time for now to participate in Warf Imperium. Yeah. So, and, yeah. And I think since the uh, COVID started, I think this is the Christmas wherein they just want to, uh, you know, celebrate everything. Yeah, everything. you have a lot more freedom yes, this Christmas compared season. To the, compared, compared to the, the, the yes. previous years, right? Yeah. 
So I think uh, everyone is just trying to uh, you know maximize their time, their vacations with their families at the moment. Yeah. Mm. So yes, it's pretty understandable. Uh huh. And uh, yeah. We actually forgot. Eh? We want to greet you all a Merry Christmas, Merry guys. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> we want so. to greet you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And yeah, hopefully you had fun and you had a wonderful Christmas day. You know, the Christmas season is pretty nice this year. You know, nice. not a lot nice. of rain here in the Philippines. Yep. And uh, it's pretty chill. It's it's cold. Cold. Yeah. Uh huh. I think this is the perfect time to wear those thick jackets. You know. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Every night. Actually, so. it, it was the perfect time for us to wear that uh, ragdoll oh. jacket we had <laughs> oh, yeah. from ESGS. Yeah. But uh, we'll we'll do that in another another stream maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um, I have a question for you all. Of course, uh, I'm just going to repeat my question. What's your New Year's wish? And what's your wish for ROGGH? Yeah. What's your New Year's wish for ROGGH? Speaking of a uh, New Year's wish, you know, um, last Thursday mm. in our Toffee Talk session in Discord, Kai actually asked something similar. What's your Christmas wish? What's, and uh, uh, what's we we all had the opportunity to share what food we'd like to bring um, <laughs> in a, uh, in a Christmas party. Yeah, so so my my pick was a sticky rice cake. Also known as Biko. <laughs> Biko, oh, that's good. That's really good, bro. Unfortunately for Kai, it's not that common for Kai to bring oh, Biko. What Kai, what Kai did? Uh... I'm not sure what uh, how Kai is uh, celebrating Christmas every time without sticky rice cake. <laughs> we don't have sticky rice in maybe in the New Year. Because my mom yeah, it's... always uh, like. It's pretty common, right? It's yeah, it's pretty really yeah. common here it's in the Philippines to have like or Biko. A new year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's actually yeah, good yeah, Biko yeah. plus coffee after you eat or after or Ooh, maybe, yeah, that's really nice. maybe having your talk with your like relatives before doing mm -hmm. the dinner or lunch. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, Must yeah, yeah. Combo. Kai Kai, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, Kai um is going to bring spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. 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 Yeah. yeah. Guys, you can be going. And I, I remember one, one, uh, one person from Discord. He was actually going to bring uh, some shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're gonna oh, hang out with your friends, why not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> why not? It was kind of funny because uh, yeah, we forgot the drinks. Nobody thought of bringing drinks. Yeah, should... yeah that's actually good. That's a good one. Like no one thought that. You need some drinks, of course. Yeah. Ah, yeah. But MG, if I'm going to ask you the similar question, if you're going to be going to a Christmas party, what food will you be bringing? Oh, dude, like, for real? Like, I really miss, uh, I'm not sure. It's, anyway, it's one of the Filipino delicacies, the Maha Blanca. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. to that. Uh, suicide destruction once again from Opus Day, but Iron Storms will quickly land on one team, one goal right here. As you can see, the sorcerer there at the top using that diamond dust just to, uh, you know, inflict some damage on one team, one goal right there. As one team, one. Oh, what an Iron Storm! But one team, one he goal. I'm pretty Iron sure Storm. he has the no limits up and running there. That's why that Iron Storm inflicted a lot of damage <laughs> to Opus Day right there. But yeah, speaking of Maha Blanca, um, it is MG, good, right? Maha Blanca. Psyche, uh, one of the Plus our ROGGH top. streamers, Psyche, it was going to bring a Maha Blanca, oh, so yeah. that that choice was invalid. All right, so what else are you going to be bringing? Okay. Uh huh. No Maha Blanca. Maybe uh, buko and pandan. There you go. You're just going to put it. You're you're not going to mix it. Buko pandan. Because <laughs> some like my brother doesn't want to put like coconut on top of. Uh, ah. Or he doesn't want to mix. Or he doesn't eat buko pandan. That's uh, that there is a uh, like coconut already inside. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. so you need to separate the coconut from the pandan itself. 
Oh yeah, like a some, lot of like people are. Yeah, like some, like, like pandan some jelly. That's pandan jelly, right? Pandan jelly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like most of the people that I know, like especially in spaghetti, they don't eat if it's already mixed. They just want to separate uh, the sauce plus the uh, the spaghetti or the pasta, and they're the one who's mm -hmm. actually gonna mix it. So yeah. Well, I I know I know people who doesn't eat sauce. Just the just the plain pasta, just the plain spaghetti without <laughs> sauce. Yeah, I know people who eat it like that. <laughs> like, no flavor at all. Like just. Plain uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they th their taste buds work, but. But. Uh, okay, for them, they like it yeah, though. So speaking of pasta, James, I really like what we uh, like in Moa. Remember. Uh, the pesto. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, really yeah, like yeah. yeah. I, I'm allergic to shrimp, but. <laughs> it's really good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, hopefully MG Strip when we were in ESGS before he wasn't scratching his neck or something like that. Yeah. But a comment again from Shell Spag from Jollibee, the best. Jollibee? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, but... You're going to be bringing tons if you're going to bring that to a Christmas party, though. Know? Yeah. <laughs> you need to bring a, like, a, a pack for everyone. Like there's a like a tray version of it. Yeah, if you're going to buy like s several trays and bring yeah. it to a Christmas party, that's fine. That's your spaghetti take. Hey, yeah, it's it's pretty good actually. But uh, gosh, we're speaking anyway, about food. Anyway, uh, speaking of like <laughs> spaghetti and all, for me, spaghetti is not complete without Shanghai uh, spring rolls. Ah, oh, unfortunately, nobody thought of bringing spring rolls. Yeah. In the uh, in Tofi talk, but uh, yeah, Manjaro Outing actually landed their curse circle. It took a long time to cast another masquerade ignorance here. One team, one goal, just pushing in. Our start from Opus Day. Windmills at the top, the back lane here of Opus Day, vanishing point, and still plus one hundred, very very strong here at the top. Is still up and running, just not oh uh, up and standing. As one team, one goal is going to be uh, pushing now the Imperium here of Opus Day, and you can see. Neutral barrier up by this mechanic of Opus Day. One team, one go, holding their ground. You can see the Shadow Chaser of Opus Day just quickly trying to, um, you know, have uh, to yep. cause some uh, debuffs against one team, one goal right there. Yeah, so I think uh, right now OTOG has more numbers compared to the first three pushes that they did. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a good uh, finishing coming from their team. They managed to. I think they didn't law. Uh, they actually lost like few players, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I Probably because the mechanic, the mechanic, I, I believe, doesn't have that suicidal destruction up and running when they pushed. And the uh, Mandragora Howling got casted immediately. That's why a cursed circle took a long time for Opus Day to push it out. So yeah, one team, one goal. What a great push here in Fat Good Castle. Surprisingly, that person who casted the Mandragora Howling is Ako. Ato, yo. Oh. Ato is participating in Water of Imperium. And this is Voltbar? Voltbar, yeah. Voltbar is participating as well. Curse Circle, who are those storms? But no, no, no. Actually, a quick hide there from a vault bar but they are going to be pushing in chain lightning getting gasset arrow storms will connect as well oh, but a white imprisoned there on uh genetic. that genetic atoy as you can see vault bar just quickly uh pushing, pushing in yeah. but that arrow storm again from one team one goal taking out a lot of vault bar players but yeah windmill that warlock doesn't Ooh. know he's sitting down that Did warlock doesn't know he's sitting down <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we need to be aware. But another white in prison there by there Vault Bar. Plus 100, very, very strong is that Sura, I believe, from on Team 1 goal. Still up and running alive. That miss, of course, because of that white in prison. Mm -hmm. But one Team 1 goal, someone got caught by that manhole. Some landmines getting placed. And oh, no pushes here. Oh, sh think, uh, okay. okay, Kate Sofell, Vault Bar. And uh, Vault Bar just quick. Lee took advantage of the situation while yes. one team one goal push earlier. It's actually good. Um, like I said on, the, our, on our previous stream, like Volpar is really um, taking advantage of certain scenarios in order for them to mm -hmm. uh, flip the, uh, flip things Ooh. on their side. And uh, right now, Volpar needs to break this because again, I think uh, Opus Day is still outside maybe and uh, they can actually regroup back since they have the flag. 
but Voltbar is still checking out the uh, low ground here, and right now they're just gonna finish it. So, mm -hmm. do they have a breaker? Uh, probably all of them are just going to attack yeah. the Imperium on. all at once. Let's go. But yeah, th that Imperium is uh, quite damaged. Uh, oh. by one team one goal earlier yeah, this goal. castle is still in opus day's hands yep. i believe and of the course some debuffs here by the shadow chaser masquerades landing some uh, damage spells connecting there on that royal guard mm -hmm. but yeah vault bar is just going to quickly hold this amp room and uh, make sure nobody else goes in as they are going to attack yep. that imperium all together right now to break that amp yes they need to hurry up because again, um, I think Opus Day is managing to recover on this one. A good delay here. They're actually putting like three, four players, or uh, everyone is actually uh, trying to delay uh, the, on the side of, uh, I mean, the side of uh, Opus Day here. But again, mm -hmm. majority of uh, Opus Day has the firepower to take down um, Vault Bar. So, ooh, ooh. I think uh, Opus Day is having a hard time because uh, OT OG is uh, blocking the the respawn point, maybe. Mm hmm. Ooh. Yeah, uh, maybe Opus Day is just waiting for this Imperium to break down before they actually push in. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they're just waiting outside. But I see some people just uh, waiting oh, here at the, the pre-amp area. <laughs> but yeah, Volt Bar versus One Team One Goal Where's still ongoing here at the Amp Room. Curse Circle will land Faint Bombs. Will get placed here as that shield reflect by uh, One Team One Goal. Yeah. Some uh, ground control Royal Guards right there. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, Opus Day is managing to recover on this one. They have the mechanic in front. They have the Sura to back oh. it up. Let's see if... Uh... No, no, no Suicide Destructions oh. though. Okay, so no Suicide Destructions. Oh, so first, the Gypsies kiss first before he actually goes in for that Suicide Destruction push. Again, Suicide Destruction consumes SP or uh, uh, the damage is also based on your SP pool. So yeah, make sure you keep that in mind. Yeah. But the uh, Volt Bar is still going to hold defending Aura getting uh, casted there but took quite a long time because of the Mandragora Howling yep. that Opus Day actually placed Manhole Storm Gust. on the oh, ground. No. Storm Gust, of course. Earth Wave still uh, getting casted here by the Sorcerer as he is getting Ooh. attacked Wow. Ranger. No Arrow Storms connecting there but you can see that normal physical attack there coming from that Ranger earlier just to cause some delay on a vault bar but unfortunately for opus day that sorcerer is still alive and no one is attacking that m room from that m wow. from vault bar yes and i think uh otog can actually push it now since uh on the side of uh, opus day they're kind of scattered right now and they're just mm -hmm. cleaning up uh, the rest of the members of vault bar here and yep they managed to wipe uh every members of vault bar inside so i think this is the yeah. perfect time to uh, set up the defense and be yeah. ready for uh, OTOG. Yeah, wait for another push. As one Ooh. team, one goal is actually up. And maybe they're waiting for other Opus Day members to push in before they actually push in themselves. But one team, one goal are setting up their DR, their attack right now. And Opus Day, I believe, will take some a little bit of time just to set up their defense. Opus Day has that scout. No Rocky's Veil on the ground right there. And uh, let's see if they can defend it. Some yes. trap notes on the floor. And um, on the side of uh, Opus Day, they still have the Suicide Destruction. He's been really successful mm -hmm. in doing that. Plus, they have the Ranger, uh, mm -hmm. Kobe as well. And uh, yeah, so definitely they have enough firepower to uh, take down uh, OTOG. They just need to make sure that everyone is really stacked before they land that uh, Suicide Destruction in order for them to maximize the, uh, uh, the skill on the side of uh, mm -hmm. Opus Day yeah all right so again my question to our viewers if you can uh, share with us what's your new year's wish and what's your new year's wish for rogh <laughs> all right we already shared ours so yep. uh yeah maybe mg has more wishes maybe to take more pictures with cosplayers in uh, <clears throat> <events. clears throat> maybe on the cms <laughs> Next time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but magnetic earth on the floor go. right there to prevent suicide that diamond dust and psychic wave from landing. No suicidal destructions oh. after actually getting casted. Front slide opus day. That mechanic is cursed and ignorance got casted. 
So uh, that mechanic will be sitting mm -hmm. still for a while right there. As uh, one team, one goal is pushing in right now. And uh, Opus Day cannot hold their defense because their mechanic got taken out. Um, I think the mechanic is still up. There you go. Oh, oh he got uh, he got disabled. Yeah. So he couldn't cast that. He couldn't land that suicidal destruction. Again, uh, one team, one goal. Just uh, quickly attacking the members of Opus Day. <laughs> suicidal destruction landed, but not a lot of players from one team, one goal got taken out. Vanishing point. One team, one goal has a hold of this amp room right now. Yep. And they are probably going to break this. Yes. Or they can actually hold it. Like force the first Opus Day to uh, just respawn till they gave up. Maybe they, mm -hmm. uh, that's actually one of the good plans here. But again, they need to be careful because again, Opus Day has the firepower to uh, wipe them all because of that mechanic and uh, Ranger. Well, one team, one goal learns from their mistakes. So they're probably not going to do the same thing again as they will push in uh, Opus Dei's castle. But none of them are breaking in the castle right now. So maybe they're just aiming for this PvP action. Voltbar yes. is now going to be their next target. They are pushing out oh, right now. Voltbar getting damage here. And they are not prepared for that attack coming from one team, one goal. As the Warlocks are just running away with that Guyak. What are you going to do, my friend? The Guyak fights. Okay, okay. okay. So everyone has Guyaks right now because of uh, the <laughs> previous event that we had. The Roa X uh, RO collaboration. Yes. And we have something similar. An event that is ongoing right now. But we will we actually uh, explain that later. No, no, Opus Day will see? quickly come in right no. here. Chris Circle will land. Coming from one team, one goal. Masquerade Ignorance, of course, getting acid right there. But one team, one goal will just try and hold the the flag warp area here yep. of Opus Day. Psychic Wave, Earth Grave will get casted there. But a sorcerer, but will get quickly taken out Ooh. by these royal guards. Yes, earlier there is an opportunity on the side of Opus Day to land that uh, Swiss Hall destruction. I think uh, that mechanic is kind of hesitant because, again, he can actually land it, but can only take out like three to four players and uh, maybe he just wanted to land it on a, on a big stack versus on a three four player um kill so mm -hmm. that's why he uh, he managed to paddle back there and move on the respawn or on the flag warp with his teammates opus day and yeah well maybe it really depends on their call as well yeah. maybe they just call for oh that's not actually waste that suicidal destruction this round or maybe that suicidal destruction is still on cooldown Again, it has a five-minute cooldown, so you cannot just quickly Spam, or uh, yeah. hastily use that whenever you wish, yep. all right? So you just need to think about it. If you're going to use it or not, of course, you have other skill options as well. You have uh, some arms cannon and other skills that you can use while your suicidal destruction is not yet up and running. Yes, and yes. Same thing one, one be... goal still not breaking that imperium <laughs> just wanting to have that fight against opus day well maybe that will be a great option as well so one team one goal um op while opus day is just uh, trying to quickly go back in using that flag yeah. warp maybe they don't need to worry about a uh, volt bar outside yeah so if both bars are just waiting outside they are if they are regrouping outside maybe they could have a lot of lot more options to um, you know, just quickly hold that flag bar so that they don't need to deal with two guilds at the same time. Yes, but again, they need to be careful on the side of OTOG because again, um, the respawn of uh, Opus Day is very near to the Imperium. Plus, if you're, if you're gonna die on the side of OTOG, you're gonna run back on the entrance wherein there is a vault bar waiting for you on the entrance. Well, so they need to technically be there's no vault bar waiting. There, oh, there are no vault bar players waiting at the entrance right oh, now. Oh, okay. So it's an easier run then. Mm -hmm. As they are going to quickly go back in. Again, one team, one goal. Just quickly holding on to that flag warp of Opus Day right there to make sure they don't go back easily. They want Opus Day to run from the entrance. Yes. Or maybe they can actually just uh, like coordinate their flag warp. Like, you know, flag warp at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of uh, just uh, flagging warp like one by one. Well, maybe they have calls that to, to use that flag at the same time, but again, it will take some time because uh, loading times, uh, 
everyone has different yeah, yeah. loading times so they don't all load at the same time but yeah Again, it's the holiday season right now, MG. And, and everyone is really the, hot on PvP. The, the Christmas action right there. Oh. Again, like uh, last Saturday, I heard that there were there were some players who actually participated in Warfare Barium. Hence, uh, Opus Dei captured the Fat Good Castle. Oh. Uh, even though it's like a Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve is <laughs> coming, right? But, but yeah, I can understand. Like, uh, but it's it, different for everyone. Yeah, so if like I'm gonna be on their shoes, I would really play a Warfare game before the Christmas uh, dinner or something. Yeah, if you don't have any, anything like, to it's, do. It's really boring if you're just gonna wait out for the dinner. You know, the dinner here in the Philippines, you know. If you're celebrating oh, it, you're, like, not, you're not the one preparing for dinner? You don't help in the preparation? I, I oh no, I do, help. I do help. Oh no, no. <laughs> I do help on reheating those food. No. <laughs> you do help in eating them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taste test. <laughs> yeah, I'm the uh, microwave god here, on in, in in our house. So I microwave it before everyone eats it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's what I can say to you, MG. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> All right. So another question for our viewers right here. Hopefully, you all can answer. You know. Uh, what did you have last Christmas Day, or the twenty fifth, or Christmas Eve? You have some uh, or what's your noche buena? Not not si buena. What's your noche buena? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like uh, you or know you we only the... had like uh. Do you, do you have like spring rolls last night or your on your dinner? No no your no. Christmas? Actually, for some reason. <laughs> I believe we we only had spring uh, rolls in our lunch on the twenty fifth. Ah, okay. And it quickly got taken out. Eliminated. <laughs> by lot. It quickly got <laughs> eliminated, though. Of all the foods. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's the first one to go out. <laughs> Even when there's ham, there's uh, there's pork. Rule number one: there's a like, salad. Don't drop that spring roll immediately. Like, put it on the mid part of the dinner or lunch well well you Rule know it's, it's sharing though it's sharing so it's fine because but yeah, yeah. Gonna, like like slay that uh, spring roll in, in seconds uh, it's easy to eat come on like but it's finger bored, food as well what's that again oh how's your cousin <laughs> oh <laughs> well well you're uh you know talking to you and that viewers it that's how mg socializes yep. oh wow how Right now. Yeah. Oh, holding spring. Oh, how are you? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how MG socializes. Yeah. Right? Speaking of uh, socializing, though, <laughs> MG. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> it's uh, is the holiday season. It's almost 2023. Mm -hmm. I want to ask, what's the level of your character? <laughs> oh, dude, I'm actually level 100. Oh no, LG sticky about it. It's fake, 15 guys. 15 or 14. It's fake. 15 or 14. <laughs> fake MG leveling. <laughs> fake. Uh, <laughs> fake sniper. Fake Wait, sniper. What? Fake ranger. Fake ranger. Uh, anyway, Opus Day got a hold of this castle once again. For some reason, nobody's breaking <laughs> this end though. One thing, one goal just wants to fight. Yes. I believe their goal right now, their optimal goal right now is to take down the lot of other players to have fun, you know, just yeah, go yeah. for that PvP action. Well, well, if you're gonna take down this castle, like, um, they're gonna lose Opus Day on the fights, right? Maybe yeah. Opus Day might, might go to other, what do you call this, castles? Or maybe they're just gonna face a uh, Vault Bar in a 1v1 scenario? Because again, come on, like, if OTOG is gonna hold this with their numbers, with their equipments currently, I think, uh, it's gonna be no fun for them. Aha, uh -huh. so that's why Yeah. I believe uh, it's also strategic <laughs> for one team one go to just not break this castle for now. But Opus Day, I believe they can hold this. They just need to set up that suicidal destruction perfectly because I believe that's the key to their victory. 
Uh, like we saw in the first two pushes of 1D1 Go, that suicidal destruction played a big role. Yep. Mm. Plus the uh, Rangers. Well. Nemesis are mod uh, players here. Did oh, I nonsense as well. Oh, yeah, I saw, I, I saw Nemesis are mod <laughs> player right here who just quickly passed by the entrance. Anyway, mm. you know, uh, as we are uh, watching. One team, one goal push in with a few members right here against Opus Day. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be slowly push out my spears. No, 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 not no, really. No, no. Here we go. Not, not, not small no? number of players right here, but a lot of players by one team, one goal as Ooh, they quickly. Oh, give me some white kick. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Okay. A, a solo wow. player coming from Nemesis Armada wiping the the high ground defense of uh, Opus Day. Yeah, he should just quickly went there for the fun. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go in, maybe go. take out a few players, but that's not a few. Alright. That's a lot. Just landing that so that arrow storm. It's like you're you're using an AoE Asura earlier. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to slowly push out my spills for tonight, of course. Again, uh, what you're all watching is War of Imperium. War of Imperium is um, a game feature that allows guilds to fight each other in order to conquer a castle for their guild to get benefits and special advantages. Castles captured by guilds participating in War of Imperium spawn treasure chests each day. The boxes spawn a special room only accessible by the guild leader to the castle NPC. Mm -hmm. Castles in all realms share common rewards such as War of Imperium potions, siege supply boxes, high weapon boxes, War of Imperium weapon boxes, jewelry boxes, and so much more. Each castle also have their own special rewards such as Emblem of the Sun God in Scarlet Padas, Snow Crystal in Kremhild, Wrath of Valkyrie in Gatherion, which players can use to craft quest headgears and or god items. There are four castle locations in uh, total for now. You no, know, there's uh, Proterra Valkyrie Realm, Hi Payon Balder Greenwood Lake Realm, Jeffen Bretonia Realm, and Aldebaran Luina Realm. Each realm has a five castles each for a total of 20 castles open every War of Imperium session. But right now, Fadgrid here in P Kremil, or here in Pontera, Valkyrie Realm, is the hottest castle uh, during the, uh, the least uh, War of Imperium times. Alright, so... Yeah, while, uh, while I'm reading that, you know... Uh, Mm. I, I I'm not sure. Uh, did anyone from uh, Dominari already got a hold of a god item? Oh, I'm not I'm sure not because sure. they they got oh. taken out by one team one goal before. But yeah. you know, hopefully Dominari is going to be coming back um, next year, 2023, next year. and it's only just a few days before 2023. MG. Yeah. Well, that's like a good. Uh... A good series uh, for this 2022 uh, uh, for, mm -hmm. for Ragnarok players. Uh, Warf Imperium events, the opening. Remember the opening? Warf Imperium opening? Uh huh. Um, yeah, we had uh, like how many guilds is that? Like a lot of guilds competing for uh, for the prizes and the rankings mm -hmm. for the pointing system. After mm -hmm. that, we have the normal ones, but again. Oh, OG is just rushing oh. in. Uh, I think that there are. I think Opus is not prepared on this one, so mm -hmm. they're just uh, trying to snowball on this uh, Imperium right now. But the question there is, uh, are they gonna break the Imperium this time, mm -hmm. or are they gonna let Opus Day to uh, defend and respond back on this one? Oh. Yeah, but I believe just uh, people are just waiting for that War of Imperium event to pop out. Oh yeah. I mean, a lot uh, of players are waiting, are requesting for a War of Imperium event or some PvP events. Well, it is the holiday season, so seasonal events are a thing, right? Yep. Like, uh, we have some seasonal events currently ongoing, and we have uh, Christmas eggs that are currently up. Yeah. So, like, uh, you can get those. You can participate in these Christmas events, which are pretty easy to do. It's like a chill moment for ROGGH right now. Yes, I think this is the perfect like time it's to. Yes, I think this is the perfect time to PVE as well. 
Like, oh, if, yeah, it's yeah. A, if it's a downtime, right, for uh, like for the meantime on on the side of uh, PvP, right, you mm-hmm. can just uh, go and uh, finish the contents as well. Yeah, well, last weekend we had a 100% EXP boost. <laughs> yeah, 24 to 26, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I leveled my character from 164 to 166 wow. in those two days. So, uh, for anyone in that level range, you know how hard it is, right? <laughs> to level it up. Like, 3 million e- EXP is only 1%. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so you need a lot. <laughs> need a lot of EXP gain for you to level up, yes. alright? Uh, now with Pouring Island gone, Pouring Island, you will be missed. You will be missed. Yes. You will be missed, Pouring Island. Uh, yeah, a lot of players are, you know, doing some board runs, board quest runs, and uh, <laughs> finding other leveling spots to level up their character. There are daily quests in Verus, which uh, give a ton of EXP. Like, that's, uh, I believe, for a base, that's only 1 million EXP. Wow. Um, you just finish the quest, and they are pretty easy to do. You just need to buy some empty bottles and use them. Uh, but uh, of course, that's only applicable for 114 and above players mm-hmm. for you to be able to, um, you know, do that Phantasmagorica yes. uh, quest. And uh, yeah, a lot. Uh, there's a spot there in Verus too. Like in the fields right there, you just need to finish the quest line, mm-hmm. and you'll be able to level up there. Like uh, back in. Or regularly, just with the premium and mm-hmm. no crafter set whatsoever, like they give like um, eight, uh, forty thousand or uh, probably eighty thousand exp. Whoa, or something seventy, almost eighty thousand exp per kill, and a job level is a thing as well because they give hundreds and thousands of job level exp. Wow. Yeah, so a lot of EXP you can gain in uh, Verus. And their levels, their level there is 171, or the mobs there. Mm-hmm. But the other mobs, of course, are uh, leveled a little bit lower. So you can probably try and level up there. And uh, yeah, that, now's the time for people to actually do those instances and um, run some PvE. Maybe farm some mats. You know, because when a War of Imperium event pops out, they'll have, they'll they'll be able to prepare longer maybe, for that War of Imperium event. Maybe JGH is just putting some clues out there for everyone. Oh, maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe. Because again, why are they giving like blue yucks? All right. Right. Why are we... well, something like that? I mean, just well, an example. It's a collaboration just an example. event, though. Like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everyone is using Guyax right now because of that. And they have, we have tons of Guyax in the storage. Yes. If you I did the previous event that we had. And uh, Kai said hi here in the stream. What's up, Kai? Hi, Mr. Spaghetti Man. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. We actually talked about what happened, what went down in your Tovi Talk session last th- Thursday. And uh, yeah, uh, MG was supposed to bring uh, Mahablanga. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, I said it Psyche was canceled out. It that. was canceled out. Yeah, it was canceled out. So what so, are you yeah. what are you going to bring again? Uh book of Pandan. Very good. Oh yeah, book of Pandan. To yeah. end the day <laughs> or to end the meal with the book of Pandan. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, and you need to pair it up with maybe an ice cream <laughs> just to give it more flavor. Or vanilla maybe. Yeah. yeah, vanilla or maybe like ube ice cream is yeah. fine as well. Oh ube, yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. That will be nice. Oh, speaking about food. Anyway, I will repeat the question that I asked for a lot of <laughs> times by now. Let's go. All right. Uh, me and MG already answered this. Uh, as I asked earlier, what is your New Year's wish, and what what is your New Year's wish for R O G G H? Again, I said uh, Kai asked something similar last Tofi Talk session last Thursday. Uh, he asked. For Christmas, this is for New Year. Maybe New Year. it changed because Christmas Day just passed. All right, maybe you found a new passion in something. 
<laughs> Maybe you want to quickly do that and stuff like that, right? <laughs> okay. Hopefully yeah, you all I, had I'm a actually, wonderful yeah. holiday season and still having that uh Christmassy feel, wonderful holiday season currently. Oh, yeah. Like uh, quickly going out, in and out of uh, places, you know, just uh, spending time with your friends and family. Or maybe just uh, leveling up your characters, like what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of Christmases, I want to uh, just go back a bit. Like, what gifts did you uh, receive from your, you know? Is that from, uh, from my, you know? <laughs> Nino, Ninyangs, yeah. I don't know. Ah, well. Are they, are they still giving you one? I, I'm surprised. <laughs> do, do they still give me <laughs> yeah, do they Are still you more in Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Well, uh, I believe we're currently at our age where uh, we're the ones giving out. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's. Yeah, Not actually, yeah, you're yeah. seeing. Well, I miss those days, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I tried I to ask my but... mom about, uh, like, one gift, but... She declined. <laughs> she returned the uh, question to me. So, uh, where's okay. my gift, right? Yeah. Where's my gift? Okay, before <laughs> before you ask for a gift, give me my gift first. Yeah. So and she, guys, your mother asked for something... Uh, lesson learned. Don't ask <laughs> your <more> parents <laughs> <laughs> if you're not in the right age anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, most players, I believe. Well, not not really. I'm not speaking for all. For like any Christmas gift. Uh, uh, most players I know who are playing RO are in the ish ish age. In the late twenties, late twenties to mid thirties okay. age. <laughs> Okay. All right, that's the that's a bracket range. I know that most are players. That's because... a pretty safe age. That he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. We're, we're starting. Uh, we're starting to give out gifts at the at these days. Yeah, speaking of gifts, I need to change the. Uh... <laughs> the oh, the, come on! Yeah, Where's the gift of viewers? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what is happening right now here is Arrow Storms uh, getting a uh, casted here by Opus Day to just land there on one team one goal and a quick hides like an Iron Storm didn't hide there coming from oh, uh, from Opus Day earlier but that uh, Loki's Veil the Iron Storms again will land from one team one goal right here and Iron Storms are are <laughs> key right now <laughs> no you know I saw a lot of Iron Storms wipe out a lot of players currently I'm not sure what happened maybe they Is they it... got some items to yeah, uh, you know, beef up that. their damage. I was, ab I was about to ask that if uh, the the, the rangers are, uh, managed to get uh, their buff on the patch, because we well, are keep on seeing like uh, a heavy damage arrow spawn from from Nemesis plus um, Opus Day. And one thing, one goal as well. Oh yeah, yeah. They're from the guilds. Uh, well, I'm not sure what items they are using but i'm pretty sure for strength time for strength type users uh there's something they can use like and, and for magic type because there's uh with uh with Verus coming out or the phantasmagorica <laughs> patch uh excellion sets or excellion suits and wings can be can be can be can be crafted yeah. right so all you need to do is just uh upgrade that or in uh refine that and use some reactors to input your Excellion items to Excellion equipment. Mm -hmm. And you can boost up or beef up your damage if you are a strength type or magic type or int type, right? Yep. Because uh, there's a there's a re reactor there that's similar to the effect of um, Wak Wak. Oh. So it's like a for every strength, there is... Um, <laughs> Uh, it converts or uh, for every strength base strength you get this amount of attack mm -hmm. something like that so similar to it for every int stat base int you get this amount of magic attack so yeah i'm not sure for for rangers though what else what else can you equip from the phantasma or mm -hmm. mechanics they have like a lot of <laughs> items to use in this patch because a lot of uh, items just uh popped out Yes, you know you can you can use those uh, supplement parts to 
supplement. <laughs> supplement. Yeah. Your, your mechanic. Yep. Alright. Okay, OTOG right now, quick regroup. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we're gonna see a, uh, a quick contest here coming from uh, Opus Day. Or Opus Day is just gonna wait out inside uh, their uh, castle. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, quick RG here. Oh, yeah. I think they, they need to do that regroup before um, before actually going in because they yes. don't want to face <laughs> the Loki's Vale and Arrow Storms and Suicidal Destructions of uh, of Opus Day. Maybe they have a plan all together to push in. Of course, some Braggies and uh, Magic Strings and Idun's Apple or Song of Looty yeah. there on the floor before pushing in. Probably a lot more buffs. And you can see that one team one goal is pre-casting there that uh, that portal to make sure they don't get uh, quickly pushed like what Adonis was doing before. Yeah. You know, Chris circle then just push in. Loki's veil on the floor right here. Oh, Atoy, Atoy. Atoy. Oh. just quickly went in. Straight ignorance. Oh, Madrigal oh, only got casted. Oh, but I'm not sure if. Uh... Oh no 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, they didn't catch uh, a lot of players here. here. Mm -hmm. As one team, one goal, quickly pushing in. Arrow Storm was taking a oh, long time to catch oh. Tiger by this uh, Sura of one team, one goal, and a flash combo actually. Yes. From uh, from one team, one goal right here. Curse circles, of course. Some windmills on the floor. Ward strike, Arrow Storms, and you can see that Ranger from Opus Day just trying to do the work, just trying to take out yes. that Sura who's attacking the back lane. Safety walls on the ground for that Sorcerer right here, along with that Kagero using Whoa. the flaming petals. Just to put more DPS out, yes. right? Yes, and at the same time, the recovery of Opus oh, is really good. Fist. Oh, just Whoa. to finish that off. Well, I did I see two Suras from one team, one goal? I, I don't know who, who's uh, 100 very, very strong and who's the other one. But, mm -hmm. I, but I saw two similar um, looking Suras earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yes, uh, speaking of the recovery of Opus Day, it was really nice that the uh, majority of, of their players managed to, uh, you know, to respond back at the uh, M side. So, I mean, uh, that's why uh, on the side of OTOG, I think they're having a hard time on moving on the third level of that uh, Imperium. And, uh, yeah, they're getting hit really bad by uh, those players who's just trying to respond back um, earlier. So, mm -hmm. ooh, especially those... Uh, those masquerade classes, the the shadow chasers are doing it for uh, Opus Day. Yes, uh, yeah. quickly uh, take a look at their defense right here. For some reason, no, it's, the Imperium still not broken, still up and running, <laughs> and I, I, this Imperium's heavily damaged right now. Maybe a few hits will take yeah. this Imperium out. Yeah, they still have uh, enough time to what do you call this to push in. Uh, for this Imperium. Um, again, they need to... Um, I think they can actually uh, take this immediately. Mm -hmm. It's just they don't want to uh, lose the fights versus uh, Opus Day right now. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe they just need to hold right now and uh, make sure uh, to prepare their defenses. But maybe one team, one goal is just waiting outside as well. So yes. they need to... They need to make sure they don't get wiped out. Yeah, and just want to uh, mention as well, Owen Chuang Go got capped by uh, twitch.tv forward slash Psyche PH. Oh. <laughs> Psyche is just yeah, doing the work. Yeah, Psyche Palace <laughs> capped by Nonsense as well. Uh-huh. Oof. That's, that's actually a good way to promote your uh, stream. Uh, just name your guild in yeah. your guild. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it is what it is. Yep. Okay, so OTOG is right now at the outside of the Imperium and they're actually preparing mm -hmm. the match to cancel out the uh, the rogue is, rogue is there and right now they're trying to uh, snowball on the second level on the stairs of uh, moving to the third level and I think uh, one of their uh, their Royal Guard is trying to uh, buy some time there versus uh, the Royal Guard and at the same time the Sorcerer on the side of Opus Day. Opus Day is losing the grip on the defense and right now uh, we're only seeing like three players on the side of Opus Day. Opus Day is trying to sustain the damage. Uh, the RG is trying, or the Royal Guard is trying to uh, sacrifice 
their members right now but again it's not very effective because they have a lot of enemies on their area and uh, all OTOG is just trying to uh, take down every Opus Dei members here but again that Ranger coming from um, Opus Dei is wiping uh, some players right now Ranger of Ranger class or Ranger class Ranger wait what yeah, I mean the IGN of that guy is Ranger, so... What? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Ranger I, I is see doing... Him. Yeah, no, no, Yeah, seriously. Uh, he, uh, is he, he's a Ranger though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's, he's a like, Ranger. So IGN technically, Ranger. it's okay to call him Ranger. Ranger, okay. Alright. But if, if you are... If your name is Ranger, but you're actually using a Rune Knight, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, it's quite different, but yeah, okay, <laughs> that can work. But one team, one goal, still not done, of course. Uh, they still want to battle it out with Opus Day, probably. That's yes. why they're not really oh. breaking that Imperium. Yeah, they just want to have fun with Opus Day at the moment, I think. And um, Opus Day is keep on uh, like for spawning back, back mm -hmm. versus uh, versus OTOG. OTOG decided to move outside and bring the fight to their uh, flag warp here. A good block there coming from few players of uh, OTOG. They just don't uh, they don't want to put Opus Day on that Imperium defense again. That's why they're trying to move out. They have uh, they have their mechanic as well. And on the side of OTOG, they stay uh, they have their mechanic moving around. And uh, OTOG is just spawn camping the flag warp of this uh, on the side of uh, Opus Day. And Opus Day is trying to respawn here. Mm -hmm. And that is Ranger. Oh, is that Ranger? Oh, no, that's, no, no, that's, no, no, that's, that's the, the name of that Ranger is Big Head. Big Head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ranger. I, I, oh, Ranger, uh, oh, that's Ranger. Ranger. That's Ranger the Ranger. Yeah, Ranger, right? Ranger. We finally saw Ranger the Ranger. Ranger the Ranger. Okay. He's good. Uh, He's good. He, got, he got wiped out, though. Yeah. Uh, so, one, look at the one team, one goal. Just here. Overpowering. With that, uh, two tanky characters, that Sura and that Royal Guard there. Just yes. holding that flag warp, though. Oof. Yeah. A big clash coming from these two kids. Like, oh, they yeah. don't want to, uh, like, cap this. They, they just want mm -hmm. to fight and fight and fight. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. One team, one goal isn't really... Oh, Sura have destruction from one team, one no. goal right here. Masquerade Ignorance, no, not a lot of players from Opus Day currently right now at the Emp Room, but they still have the advantage though, mm -hmm. because they had the Flag Warp, no Masquerade Ignorance on that mechanic to make sure it doesn't cast anything right now, oh. and that, uh, ooh, that mechanic just, uh, beaming out, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, maybe, maybe return another time. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think uh, OTOG managed to. I think they're losing their members right now because of the quick first point of uh, Opus, Opus Day. So maybe OTOG is gonna regroup outside or maybe on the stairs again in the preamp. Well, I I'm not sure what their options are going to be right now. Uh, the Vault Bar isn't entering the castles currently. So, like, uh, they have the option to attack as well. But maybe they're just chilling for now and wait for maybe 30 minutes more before they mm -hmm. actually cap those castles. But, yeah, um, it's kind of difficult for one team, one goal to do something right now. Because, again, Opus Day is just going to quickly use that flag warp and just enter. Maybe one yes. team, one goal's goal currently is to really just attack. Yeah. Really, just you, you do that PvP against Opus Day right now. It's so uh, one thing that uh, we can see that they are really doing quite well. Yes, like they're just having a a, a rough battle right there, but they are exchanging fights. Um, not one guild is overpowering the other. <laughs> so like uh, a mutual exchange of attacks, mutual exchange of uh, you know um defenses right here. So like. They they can they can hold mm -hmm. they can hold the spots and make sure they don't get eliminated quickly. But for Opus Day, since the flag warp is getting 
um, defended by one team, one goal. Yeah. You know, they, I think they just need to enter from the entrance. Yep. Because again, if that flag warp is being heavily defended by one team, one goal, when you enter, even when you enter together, it will be quite difficult for you to do anything because again, you need to cast your buffs, you need to uh, cast uh, different skills as well. But as one team, one goal is pushing out right now, this is now the opportunity for Opus Day to use that flag warp. Yes. I think uh, Opus Day needs to have like a one Sora scout maybe outside mm -hmm. just to make sure to get the you know information if OTOG or one team one goal is spawn camping the flag warp or even mm -hmm. moving outside of the second level of the castle they should have that I think in order for them to take advantage on the regroups whether they're gonna RG outside or oh, just use the flag warp Okay. Uh huh. But full bar is here. So shoot trick over brands coming from one team one gold that dismounted, um, Rolgar okay, right here. Down. But you can see a warlock getting caught. Some diamond dust landing on the floor. Iron storms as well. Look and see Volbar just uh holding right now against a one team one gold. Volbar just entering windmills again. Get cancer one team Whoa. one gold. As you can see, the spells will go off. Some diamond dust as well. Not wave. really taking up a lot of people from one team one gold right here. As that Sura is just uh trying to um cause some uh, attacks here against that sorcerer but that sorcerer unfortunately for one team one gold still alive just still causing damage to one team Ooh. one gold it's just holding his ground heavily here against a lot of members from uh, one circle? team one goal as that circle is now up he even communicated that to his guild right there as that sorcerer will get taken out wow wow yeah, so, one team one goal goal is to PK. We don't break amp right now. Said by old brick. Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, no, uh, break. we can see that. <laughs> we, so, we can see that. Like yeah, a it's a uh, some PVP action like Christmas PVP. Christmas. Right? Some Christmas PVP. Christmas. Yeah. Uh huh. But yeah, that's a good gash coming from um, OTOG. They actually recognize that. Um, Voldemort is attacking, and at the same time, I really want to commend that um, that Royal Guard earlier. He uh, managed to attack like a few players, and I think he knows that he cannot take it down like for three to five seconds. He immediately mm -hmm. switched target on a much squishier um, um, opponent, and from mm -hmm. there, he just keep on wiping those uh, like squish squishy characters, like um, the Suras and all. That's mm -hmm. a good. Uh, that's a good goal coming from that. Uh, RG or Royal Guard of um, OTOG. Yes. As you can see, I think one team one goal just quickly went back in. Maybe to deal with Opus Day, who <laughs> maybe set up a defense right now inside. Uh, we'll quickly check that out as you are, as MG is now uh, rushing through, going to that amp room. I want to talk about the eggs that we have <laughs> right now. The Christmas egg is now available in the cash shop. Of course, you can obtain special items like a sealed card, blue pouring balloon, Christmas wings, a JJ cap, and Santa sack. Each egg opened also guarantees three superb fish slice. So time to get some eggs now and crack them open. I think some uh, the the uh, the the superb fish lights uh, fish lights. It's like an Yggdrasil berry. I think they sell for uh, like two hundred and fifty k. I'm not sure if uh, people are buying them though. But I think that's what they sell. That's the price they sell them at. Wow. So yeah, uh, if you're looking to get some zeni, maybe uh sell some christmas eggs or sell the items the christmas eggs or if you're lucky maybe get a sealed card will be the option for you as well yes. or maybe uh you know if you want some cosmetics some christmas wings and if you want to boost up and save some potions maybe you will have a chance to get that jj cap. cap or if you're lucky enough you know you get the santa sack inside the santa sack maybe you can get that santa suit <laughs> All right, and uh, I believe there is also. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, there is a refined event currently ongoing as well. So this is until the fifth of January. So there, there is an increased refine success rate of uh, the items that you will be refining for uh, this period. So it's from 22 of December until the 5th of January. 
all right so quickly go upgrade all your gears if you do if you have some and uh quickly you know boost your firepower up yes okay right. here we go okay let's go OG right now is uh, pushing in on the side of uh, Opaste. Opaste is just holding neutral barrier up on the side of the mechanic. Mm -hmm. But then again, Masquerades are uh, getting spammed here by... Oh! He's down Ooh. there. Oh, okay. our Storm's landing. Okay, and uh, backslide. Oh, look and see that mechanic preparing. Yeah, yeah. Mechanic for one team, one goal. Preparing his entry right now. No, no suicide. No, suicide. Oh. No, no full stack to actually... Attack using that uh, suicidal destruction, but Arrow Storm oh, still landing, recovery. vanishing point from one team one goal. Opus Day oh. just holding their ground right here as one team one goal will be retreating as Opus Day with a good defense here at the Emp Room. Yes. And uh, what I said earlier though, in addition to the Christmas eggs that we have, we'll also have that uh, Kafra Point event currently ongoing until the 28th of December. So it's only until tomorrow, 11:59 p.m. So you can get uh, a lot of uh, items, some Sea God Angers, some Giant mm -hmm. Flywings, some uh, fancy hat box, and of course, uh, a costume flying drone for 18,000 mm -hmm. KP. And for 36,000 KP box, you get that costume digital space, um, a Wak Wak Mantu, and some Supreme Treasure box. Ooh, Supreme. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, the Wak Wak Mantu is nice, actually. So that's like a um, attack plus five percent, and ref if refine level is plus five or above, mm -hmm. like for every ten pure strength, additional attack plus two. Oh, oh okay. that's nice. That's and for cool. if it's plus seven and above, it's for every ten pure strength, it's attack plus three. So it's it's quite nice though. Yep. But you won't be um, the walk walk card effect will not be applied to this item so that's a caution that it's, it's indicated in red in the item right and from in the supreme treasure box there in the kp event of course the supreme treasure box is up so you can uh, try and get those items in the supreme treasure box which is the evil dragon armor tasty strawberry hat peak angeling balloon recovering heartling hairband black devil's mask, mask isabella's carrot or immune shield Oh. All right, so a lot of items and uh, you know additional items when you want to spend your KP. All right. Let's go KP event. Mm -hmm. KP event, Capra Point event. It's only until tomorrow, guys, eleven fifty-nine p.m. Mm -hmm. As uh, so Volbar is preparing their entry here in Fadgood Castle, and uh, quickly holding this entrance to make sure that one team does. One team, one goal doesn't um, attack them from behind. Yes. I think uh, speaking of uh, like regroup, I think they can actually regroup very fast. Um, but they need to be careful on the side of OTOG because they can actually mm -hmm. do that as well. And right now, OTOG is just swarming on the entrance, knowing that uh, Volbar is on the push right now. So I think they have the advantage to uh, hit the backlink. But again, Volbar managed to read that um, option coming from. Um, OTOG, they're trying to fire back uh, the offense here of OTOG, but again, OTOG has the numbers. They know what they're doing. Um, yeah, that's an easy wipe coming from OTOG versus Vault Bar. Oof. Mm -hmm. That's one team, one goal. Their goal is to play your kill uh, player right kill. now. PK said by Old Brick a while ago. Like, um,. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a good goal for Christmas and uh, to quickly test all your gears, right? Yes. If you have gears, if you beefed up your gears, I believe it's a it's a good way for you to test them out. Yep. More codes, MG said by LM Gaming. I got you, bro. I got you. MG, I got come you. on. Where's your, this is now your Christmas gift for all the players right here. I got right you, here. bro. I got you. I got you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So I'm going to repeat the question that I asked earlier. MG. Mm. And the viewers. <laughs> Maybe you can ask the viewers right now. The ah, similar yeah, yeah. question that they asked earlier. So it's now what your time to ask. Maybe players, players want you to ask, not me. Players, viewers. <laughs> yeah, well, the question is, uh, what's your uh, New Year's wish? Is that right? New yep. Year's wish for, uh, for yourself 
and four Ragnarok PGH guys. So if yes. you're gonna put a uh, a comment on our comment section, guys. Oh, by the way, it's actually free. You're not gonna spend anything there. It's free, so just put your answer there. So if you're gonna put your answer there, I'm gonna put additional codes on the on the uh, <laughs> on the uh, code section. Wow! Wow! One comment, a... guys. Additional one code. Let's go. Uh huh. Let's All go. Right. You know, you know another thing that MG probably wants to have as a New Year's wish for ROGGH? Yeah. Is to have that rebellion out. <laughs> Please. GGH release it. Please. <laughs> the rebellion is uh, you. actually it's it's not all you who's waiting for that rebellion to pop out though. Some players that um shared their thoughts last Tofi talk last mm -hmm. Thursday. Share their uh, their sentiments that they want that rebellion to come out so they can you know make a new character level up a new character, and you know, oh my gosh, uh, it's gonna Some, be a new uh, meta. Technically, years. it's gonna be new meta like Oboros, Yeah, yeah, it's going Oboros to change other, the meta. Those those they're gonna be out on the market. Oh, it's what? it's gonna be no, it's gonna be a. Uh, are still a thing though, MG. It's what gonna be saying? like it's gonna, it's gonna be like a rebellion. That's it. No other classes. Rebellion. No, no. Rebellion. no. Okay, rebellion. so maybe maybe if yeah. um, Rebellion comes out, uh, that's that's MG's wish. <laughs> Supposed to the wish <laughs> for, for RPG8. Rebellion wish. comes out. Year's wish. Then uh, MG's <laughs> wish for himself is to have that Rebellion pop out at max level. Immediately. <laughs> no, not immediately. You need to grind it. Come yeah, on. I'm very, I'm very Come on, MG. To, uh, but that's to, uh... his New Year switch for himself and ROGGH. Come on, guys. It's to level up a rebellion to max. Let me know or let us know what's your wish for uh, for yourself and for uh, ROGGH. Plus one code. Let's go. Without question mark. <laughs> plus one code. Let's go. <laughs> that's your New Year's wish. Yeah, all right. Let's all right. Go, guys. Come on. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Um. Obus Day just quickly holding here against uh, one team one goal. Maybe Volbar will have the opportunity to attack once again later on. Yeah. But right now, well, it's Obus Day in the M room. And uh, yeah, the fights between these guilds are entertaining. It is, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I think that item wise, they have uh, the same item. Right? Uh, Volbar and uh, OTOG, maybe? Almost same level maybe mm -hmm. so that's why it's more on technicalities of uh, um skill coordination well, and, and it stuff. really also depends on your build yeah again your build your items your skills those are the three things you need to take note of and in the warfare imperium such as this one a guild wars your numbers will take account as well so four four factors can, can you right, make four it five factors. Like if you if strategy, right? It's okay. Uh, All right, five strategies. Make it six. If they need to listen to the shot caller as well. Oh, that's 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 NG's commander, commander output right yeah. there. Because again, items is gonna be I items, different, NG. items builds are gonna be useless if you're just gonna go alone, technically. Well, if you wanna YOLO. <laughs> yeah, there is no such thing as like, you can wipe the maybe. Uh, yeah, I think that's for me. As long as they, uh, they, uh, they can actually coordinate properly, um, proper skill execution, they can actually pass through certain, uh, certain pushes, and at the same time certain skills. So, yeah. Proper callouts, and they need to listen to their, uh, they need to listen to their commander. Oh, no, that's a uh, MG okay. commander okay. standpoint right there. Okay, check the comment section, James. So, said by Mark Dan da Daniel or Daniel right here, expand the blacksmith forge options, though. That's your wish? Okay. Is that your wish? But uh, what do you mean by that, though? What do you mean by expanding the blacksmith forge option? <laughs> right. So, please, please elaborate further if you can. All right. Still. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think that's hmm. still counted. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, so MG is just code dishing you. out codes. There all right. Go. All right. So. And that's so, the last okay. one. I'm just joking. More uh, codes. So, yes, like, let's go. So if you have a lot of comments, like a lot yeah. of comments, just MG will just push out, dish out let's the go, codes. Let's go, guys. Let's go. More comments there. Uh huh. All right. And make sure to do us a favor, like the stream as well. 
it helps. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes, like and share the stream. And again, the question was, what is your New Year's wish and what's your New Year's wish for ROGGH? Yes. Aha, aha, aha. Okay. Uh, maybe some of these uh, players wish that they finally got something good out of uh, their draws. Um, <laughs> my goodness. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was so yesterday. I dropped by uh, RKM stream and it's it was shouted all over like in the game as well. Um, I spent some time with a few friends as well. We we're talking about what's happening in game. Yeah. Uh, RKM uh, opened, I believe, some Magic Card albums. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't get something that good out of it. <laughs> like how many? Um... I think I see open like 40 MCAs. Like, uh, you have a chance to probably get a ghostly card or some, uh, maybe a deviling card, probably. But to no luck, I mean, it, it did work for him. I mean, dude, we're talking about like how many cards, how many cards is uh, like registered on that album? Like, a lot. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. Not a lot? Okay. Not a lot. Like, uh, it's still very limited c compared to normal OCAs. Oh. But, yeah. Alem, what's your wish? Oh, Mark. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your wish, Alem? Oh, so Mark Daniels, like, add, 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 add more items that can be forged. Current ones are kind of obsolete. Oh. That's actually good. Ooh, uh, it's yeah, that's, good. That's, that's, that's a good that's option. Good. Like that's it can, good. it can get more forgers to pop out. But yeah, uh, that's a good suggestion though. That's I, I like that. One. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, like that. So, uh, it like forgers can far be more really as well. Yeah, and uh, uh -huh. forgers can be really viable on uh, on future patches as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's really. Yeah. Good. Well, uh, thanks for thanks for sharing though, Mark. Uh, for that mark, another code will be released in a few minutes. Uh, you're releasing the codes, but LM is the only one. Yeah, I think LM <laughs> is the one the is farming the codes right now. Oh my goodness, just firing those manuals and uh, yeah. scrolls. <laughs> Alright, again, the codes are one time use only. It's a first come or first serve. So, first one to redeem the code will be able to claim the rewards. Again, MG, what are the codes? What are the items from the codes? Uh, yes, yeah, so you're gonna get. Uh, three pieces uh, for battle manual, three pieces of job, man job manual, uh, ten pieces of level ten blessing scroll, and uh, ten pieces of level ten agi scroll, plus five pieces of mystic powder, five pieces of pierce blessing. Yes. Yes. That's gonna be All perfect, right. guys. So make sure to uh, check the numbers and the letters and input it mm -hmm. on your uh, G and Joy account, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Then uh, yes. yes. Once you uh, manage to redeem that, you're gonna get all of those rewards on the item, mm -hmm. the item code. All right. So yeah, while uh, things are going on right now, I do want to remind the players that um, there is a 12 days of a Christmas event. Uh, this event runs from December 25th up to January 5, 2023. All you need to do is just log in Yo. during the event period and receive rewards every day through your Rodex. Again, if you're standing by in town AFK like what I did, I I almost missed that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you need to log out, right? literally log out your account, then log back in. And then you'll receive the rewards in your Rodex. Just log in every day, alright? Yeah. Just log in every day and you'll be receiving... <laughs> Some, uh, 12 days of Christmas rewards like on uh, day two I think that, that was yesterday uh, yeah. you'll be receiving some uh, two two pieces of three days premium so oh. that's what LG needs but oh, oh he didn't good. even that's log in <laughs> and I think I think for for today was battle medals I believe mm -hmm. uh, maybe I need to double check because I haven't logged in uh, in a while. <laughs> yes. But, I, I was yes. AFK in town for a long time. So, uh, I didn't get to check. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's D3. Oh yeah, you can you can actually check that in the events tab in Discord. Yep. So it's there. Uh, 12 Days of Christmas. Oh yes, it's a NFS battle manual. And for tomorrow, it's a Savage Barbecue. That's for day four. Ooh, and uh, oh, you also get some Santa bag. All right, maybe. Oh no, no, we didn't receive. We didn't get that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the Santa bag just transforms you into uh, having like the Santa costume. Oh, and it's quickly nice. need to get some screenshots in, like to post in you, somewhere. Yes, yeah. if you want to uh, role play or something, yeah. Uh, role play a Santa, like. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Another player, like a friend of mine, um, because pairing it up with the costume that you can receive from the Yuletide mm -hmm. event, like had a uh, the Santa the Santa costume on, put the shaving cream costume, <laughs> like shaving cream costume. Um, he also put on a, uh, a cat Santa hat. Okay. And the blinking eyes. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's quite nice though. But the shaving cream though. Oh. oh did the shaving you cream. Use the white beard something. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a better option. But the shaving cream also looks like a beard though. So. Yeah. But I, I like the uh, like remember the costume that I keep on mentioning, the head one, the mohawk. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> that's your Santa costume. Ah oh, no. Anyway, say my Chris Ronya here. Shout out to Goods Guild that is in OTOG Guild right now, GG's guys. Yes. Oh yeah, shout out to you guys and uh, again, Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. Again, this is the 27th of uh, December. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to remind you all that this is going to be the last stream for the year. Yup. Alright, last stream for the year, guys. On Saturday, we won't be having a stream. It's the 30, 31st yep. of December, of course, we're... Or, going to be preparing for the new year as well yeah <laughs> uh hopefully all are going to be safe for the new year yep keep your uh, hands complete works are allowed <laughs> in your place all right <clears throat> go for it have some fun come on some watch watch some fireworks if you can uh the, keep your fingers safe safe yeah. so you can play more it's, rogh it's getting really it's it will be hard if you if you have like a a bm plus Oh yeah, so it won't hinder your playing from RO, like yeah. you have complete fingers. Just make sure you're safe, everyone, yeah, yeah. this this new year. Because again, this is the first new year that we're going to have where it's uh, a lot more free since yes. COVID. Exactly. Here in the Philippines, um, that is the, the case. So I'm not sure with the, um, in other parts of the world. But yeah, here in the Philippines, this is the first uh, Christmas and New Year in the Philippines where it's a lot more, there's a lot more freedom. Yes. To do things. Less face mask. Less face mask, Less yeah. Face mask. Actually, uh, when, I, when I go to the store, actually, um, I, I don't really need you to wear face, wear face mask. Face mask? Just there. Go outside? Of course, yeah. Okay. Like, um, I still have it. I still bring it. I still bring it. Uh, I still wear it. <laughs> but when you're having conversations, when you're walking the mall, sometimes um, I remove it. Uh, because sometimes it's hard to breathe when you're wearing face mask. <laughs> yes. And you want more of that air. <laughs> what air? <laughs> yeah, but if it's too cold, yeah, face mask is an option. Yeah. Alright. Well, one team, one goal. Okay. So occupied here. Still that PK PvP option against Opus Day. Yeah, well, really, Voldbar was yes. there earlier as well. Yeah, it's really nice that um otog is just wiping the defense then after they wipe the defense they just go they will go immediately and spawn camp the uh the the flag area oh yeah yeah, yeah. So it's actually their rotation so majority mm -hmm. of um what do you call this uh obviously right now they need to deal with vault bar before they can go in yeah all right and they are going to hold the flag warp right here of opus day yeah. and before i forget uh for all the players who are actually participating in warrior Fimperium, right now thank you all for participating in warrior you even though it's the holiday season you know uh i'm i'm pretty sure all of you want to be chill you know you just want to have some fun and uh thank you all for you know joining us in this warrior Fimperium session <laughs> to bring out your prowess and have some fun in this war of imperium session for tonight yep i mean this is actually one of the ways that you can actually bond with your in-game friends your friends your yeah friends, your yeah. friends 
Oh, oh. Really? I died, I think. Or no. Did I die? Did you? Oh, no, 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 no. It got oh, no, broken. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. It, it was captured by one team, one goal. Accidentally captured, maybe. Uh oh. Maybe, maybe they thought it wasn't going to be gone in maybe a few hits. Yeah. But, oh, well. <laughs> maybe they'll let other people capture it first. Yep. They, they were prepared there, defending that flag warp. Yep. And then, oops! They got captured! Alright. Okay. So, I think uh, right now, Opus Day is just trying to reboot now. But mm -hmm. the danger here is much bigger because, again, they have a uh, vault bar. And knowing uh, one team one goal, they're gonna roam around. Mm -hmm. They're gonna roam Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. They're, they are going like, to No one can Certainly. actually enter the, the third level, most likely. Oh, Gates of Hell there. I'm pretty sure one team one goal is going to be pushing out. That's what yeah. I just scouted earlier though. Mandragora Howling got casted by Opus Day. Can you quickly go up for a bit? Let's see what's happening there. Is one team one goal already set up? Nope. No, 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 no. They're not there yet. Alright. Vault Bar is there. Some Dragon's Breath there landing on the floor. Good. And yo, Opus Day, just uh, quickly regrouping here at the entrance of Fat Grid Castle right now. And while they are doing that, we only have 30 minutes left in our current War from Prime session. Uh, I take this chance to um, <laughs> shout out a new event. So this is another RO and ROA collaboration. This time, Ragnarok Online will be doing a collaboration again with Ragnarok Arena. Adventurers just need to install and play Ragnarok Arena until they reach Adventure 18-1 to get costume and promotional box filled with in-game items. Ragnarok Online for, Rag for ROGGH, it's the costume Ragnarok hairband. Uh, it's the Ragnarok. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it looks it looks nice, right? It looks nice. Oh, it looks nice. By the looks of it, it looks nice. Yeah. Uh, time to make a new character. Time <laughs> 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 to make a new character, yeah, Roa. Nice, nice. Anyway, uh, what do you get from that? So, uh, uh, players have to create a new character in Roa in Ragnarok Arena. Characters that are created before 26 of December 20, 2020, 2022 will not uh, be eligible. Mm -hmm. So create now uh to get a ch to get a costume if you reach 18 to 1 so after reaching adventure 18 to 18 1 players can verify their in-game information on the confirmation page players will receive ro services based rewards based on the information they provide yeah. the rewards will be distributed to all players on the nearest maintenance in ragnarok online ggh yeah. all right and yeah it's a uh, it's nice quite nice though. It is. And, and Adventure 18-1 is not that hard. 18-1 like, was the last boss on 18-1. Uh, no, no, it's uh... 17-20 oh, no. is... 17-20 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 is...
it's in the Ragnarok multiverse universe as well. So you're kind of like familiar with everything, right? You're yes. familiar with the monsters. You know who they are. The you know the characters. Well, the towns, so you won't have yeah. a hard time in uh, determining like uh, whatever it is. The, so like there's a tutorial as well in Roa. So, and there yeah. is a Warf Imperium as well. The war? No, no, oh, no, 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 there, no, no, there's no, no, no. a guild war, guild war and there's sorry. a siege guild war. war. Guild there's war, siege a... war, guild dungeons as well. A lot. Yeah, there's it's a lot. It, a lot of things lot. to do. So make sure to check the game out. Uh, there is also a battle arena. It's like PvP. Just set up their formations and uh, <laughs> battle uh, other players. Yeah. All right. So and it's quite nice though. Upgrading as well is kinda addicting as well. Uh, uh no. No 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 Summoning. I, I'm, I'm kinda addicting uh kinda addicted on upgrading plus the uh summoning, especially the bloody branch. I really uh -huh, like that. Uh -huh. I really like that. Oof. <laughs> but yeah, uh it's quite nice though. It's quite nice. So make sure to check it out. Uh if you haven't uh, played uh, Roa already, make sure to play some Roa. To get some in-game rewards in our ROGGH as well. So said by Muhammad, can't claim anymore. What do you mean by that one? Oh, maybe the codes. Uh, the codes? Oh yeah, hey, MG is just <laughs> very generous in giving away code. So MG? Yeah, I already changed it. That's right. Nice. I have a lot of codes, guys. And yeah, sorry about that, Chris Ron Hill. We were <laughs> advertising. <laughs> we were promoting something, but yeah, yeah, we we're we're going to. Quickly remove the pictures and banners. Don't, and don't worry, we're following. Don't worry, guys. we're following. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to All get right. some clips and highlights, we got you, fam. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh. And aside from that, of course, um, another event we have like it's a seasonal event in ROGGH. It's the Snowflower Festival. This has been going on for quite a while. And uh, wait, I'm just quickly making sure that there's no battle ongoing. Okay, so there's no battle ongoing. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is a long time has passed since Aldebaran citizens experienced snowfall. They started to gather Siroma and raise them for snow. Head on over to Aldebaran to find out more about this event. The costume let it snow is still working until January 5, 2023. Okay, so like it's a uh, it's a costume that can beef up your firepower right now. But what's happening is our storms are landing here. Curse circles by one team, one goal. As uh, that genetic just quickly pushing in on Obus Day right now. Tiger Ooh. cannons will land sky blows out of formation here by that uh, shadow chaser of uh, Opus Day. Just yes. trying to delay the members here of one team, one goal from attacking. But as you can see right here, one team, one goal just quickly wiped out Opus Day. But they lost a few members in the process, but you know, uh, one team one goal got their goal right here into occupying the amp room. But they need to regroup. They don't have a lot of players here in the amp room right now, so maybe they are going to prepare for another push outside. Yes. <coughs> and same thing. What I like about um, one team one goal, every time that they're gonna push, they're gonna leave like one or two players on the on the mm -hmm. stair area or on the low ground. Just make, uh, just making sure that no one will try to, you know, backstab or flank uh, their entire group. So that's oh. actually really good. Like <laughs> Abella was like. I, I thought what you were going to say, MG, was I mean, what you like about one team one, one goal is every one warrior from Imperium they only have one goal in mind and they stick to it. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's it, it, it's 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 like that, right? Yeah, and... One team one goal's goal right now is to PvP to PK. Right? So yeah. like they're sticking <laughs> to it. And they, they are showing it until like uh only twenty minutes left yes. in current war preparing session. Yep. And I think that's actually a good way on preventing uh their entire team to get wiped out. Like just putting a few players to delay. Once the, the main ball managed to wipe the entire players, that's a time that the main ball can help the the havoc team on the on the other side to you know wipe the remaining players mm -hmm. all right but right now though one team one goal holding the flag warp as well okay so while they are doing that and uh, no one is attacking right now no one going back in <laughs> again another promotion up of course a Milando costume update 
Epic's new costumes were added to the game after the maintenance last December 15, including the cool-looking costume released Ground. Of course, you can also bring in these new costumes to designer Haydem in Malangdo to exchange them for an Enchant Stone Box Volume 9. And uh, make sure to check out the new Enchant Stones and yes. the new Enchant Stone effect. Alright, yep. so like... I, I saw some players uh, wear that uh, costume released ground. Like they have this oh, aura. This they have this aura. The the the, the at the floor. Yeah, it's pretty really pretty nice to see. Especially on the solas as well. Like in Warf Imperium, it's pretty subtle. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty subtle. So you need to remove the banner. Yep. It's pretty subtle. Subtle in Warf Imperium, you can only see the aura. But if you are going to check it out outside, it's like some rocks floating beside you uh-huh uh -huh. right. uh, i hope someone goes out and we can see that though hey let me just check but... something uh no one's there <laughs> everyone's in fact with oh what we have oh, magnetic bar. earth on the floor ball bar one team one goal okay oh opus day still going to attack fat Grid castle Probably that's uh, because this is the castle to be at right now. Okay, one team, one goal with the uh, with the group of uh, Seras right there. The group of bees. Group of by uh, Atoy. Atoy. And it's like what you said uh, before, Angie. That's what you like about uh, Atoy's genetic. Yes. Atoy and the bees. Atoy and bees. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right. uh, Atoy's character is very unique. To be fair, like. Oh, this one. Oh, Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Oh, dude. oh, that's really good, man. That's what you could get from the new Malando costume update. Yeah, and a lot of people, like, try to get those costumes. Uh, but if you don't want that costume, like, if you are... I, I don't know. If, you, if you, you just want, if you don't really like it, like, if it's not for you, you can just trade it for something else. Like, a lot of people are willing to buy that. Oh, anyway, oh, they're changing, one uh, team, position. one goal is now here in oh, Kremhild. Are we gonna see a mm -hmm. GPG? Will we see? Oh, a dude! Action. Ooh. Vault bar. Bringing Someone the... got got the Ranger. Uh huh. Bringing one team, one goal. Kremhild. Just attacking that meteor storms, though. Attacking the meteor storm. But those traps will get removed. And one team, one goal is scouting things out. Volvar ankle snares will get placed there, and you can see that Volvar is utilizing that ankle snare. Yes. Not really placing any other traps that are uh, can be quickly seen from afar. Yep. So like ankle snares are pretty subtle, so that uh, you don't really see that you got caught immediately, or you don't see those traps on the floor immediately. Because sometimes it happens when it just disappears, right? They just yes. need to use that remove trap to remove those. But one team, one goal is going to push in as they are going to encounter Voldbar, who's just holding that choke point here in Kremhild Castle. It's been a long time since we've last seen something like this. Yes. So this is going to be uh, quite a refreshing to see. And yeah, map. one team, one goal. What is going to happen right here? Will Voldbar be able to hold their ground against a one team one goal right here or will one team one goal wipe out the stack of Volbar again yes. maybe they are going to push from two sides no exceed breaks or here maybe they're gonna That's switch great. sides now uh -huh. no Volbar Volbar actually pushed oh, they pushed from a different good, side good. as they are going to go back oh someone got caught there that warlock is uh, stuck tiger cans boss misty here. no magic or howling affected that warlock no quick casts will happen because of that man, Dragora Howl. And one team, one goal will be quickly pushing in. Arrow Storms will connect. Some Siren's voice right there. And uh, one team, one goal. Just quickly pushing in on Kremhild Castle. Yes. It's actually a good plan on the side of Goldmore. But again, they didn't manage to capitalize on the, the, the quick flank there. They didn't take out um, enough players in order for them to uh, return back or to have a, a good trade versus that push. 
And I think uh, when um, OT OG one team one gold uh, recognized that push, they immediately went to that stack. They have the information, and uh, Gold Bar was really out position. That's why they get uh, they got wiped really bad. Mm -hmm. All right, Ooh. and the Vault Bar is uh, using that flag to probably get some PvP mm. action as well. Okay, some Gates of Hell landing, Vault Bar. That mechanic from one team one goal still up and running though, as they are going to reveal faint bombs on the floor. And faint bombs on the floor, what? Faint bombs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I mean, uh, you might click it on the floor, but it won't work. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, since uh, this is happening right now, Volt Bar versus one team one goal. Uh, 15 minutes left in our current Warf and Perry session. And uh, I want to quickly tell you guys that uh, another seasonal event still currently ongoing is the Yuletide Blessing. Yes. Father Christmas needs your help to discipline his mischievous Rudolph, defeat him, and collect fractal tokens to exchange them for exclusive costumes and consumables. This got updated last maintenance. So they drop more fractals now and Ooh. they spawn in a 5 minute timer <laughs> instead of 10. It's like, uh, it's. It became much easier to do. Yeah. All right. So from my experience, they dub fifteen fractals now. They dub oh, fifteen good. fractals. Uh, every Rudolph drops fifteen fractals. Okay, so you can get like if you own the place, <laughs> if nobody's yeah. there and you're all you're the only one farming, like you can get forty five fractals every five minutes. So wow. Yeah, but you need to take some time to eliminate that Rudolph. Which is, uh, you only inflict one damage and uh, it has 500 HP. So you need to have a quick attacking character. Yes. They usually use Rangers or Shadow Chasers with a bow. Yep. Usually. But you can use other options as well. Yep. Oh, okay. I think uh, most of the guilds right now are trying to settle down. Um. Mm -hmm. On the side of Opus Day, I'm not sure. They're not defending their castle right now. So maybe they're trying to scatter around and um, cap multiple castles. Mm -hmm. Because again, um, what... Uh, you can hide the banner right now though. Yeah, I think what OTOG did there was really like... They forced their enemies to consume a lot of uh, supplies. Mm -hmm. While uh, you know, while their while OTOG is charging in to their uh, to their castle. Well, so... they did consume their own supplies as well, though. So yeah, yeah. Uh, MG, you can hide the Yuletide blessing now. Oh yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> anyway, uh, and before we forget, though, our uh, favorite buff for this month of December, you can pair it up with the KP. The Kaffir Point event that, we is, that is currently ongoing until tomorrow. And that is MG. Of course, our Razor Gold buff for December. So mm -hmm. from December 1 to uh, 31st of December, recharge your GN Joy via Razor Gold Wallet. And uh, of course, once you recharge that, you can actually get in-game items such as Snow Bear Hood costume or Gift of Snow costume for free. For Tier 1 KP with Razor Gold Wallet, you can score the Snow Bear Hood costume. And for tier 2, 30,000 KP with Razor Gold Wallet, you can score the gift uh, of Snow Costume. So what are you waiting mm -hmm. for, guys? Make sure to take advantage of this promotion for our Razor Buff December and get those cool items up there. Mm -hmm. I must get. Yes. I must get. I must get. Like, what, what do you want from these costumes, though, MJ? Uh, The Snow... <laughs> Give us Snow. Give us Snow. <laughs> Yeah. I just want to make sure that I'm saying that I, I also costume. like the snow bear hood though. The snow bear hood looks nice. It looks good. It's it's it, really it's, it's very it's, really it's very subtle, but it's a uh, it's uh, it's cute. I mean, it's, it's quite cute, nice. Yeah. It's really uh huh uh huh. Like especially if you're a uh, a female character, maybe you can actually just uh, pair it uh, up. No, you uh, you can rock it. You can rock it well with the male character. It's fine. Anyway, 12 minutes left before War, War of Imperium session ends. Still, uh, I want to ask you guys, what is your wish? What is your New Year's wish? And what is your New Year's wish for ROGGH? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we are going to 
share ours again. Okay, so mine was, uh, mine is still, uh, mine is um, having more opportunities and more stability for the upcoming year. And uh, for my wish for RGGH is to more for more players to come back, more events, and for more players to join in on ROGGH. Right? Yes, that's gonna be cool. Like uh-huh. if players are gonna um like after the holidays, they're gonna go back and gear up for maybe war events, maybe mm-hmm. in the future. And um, yes, definitely the uh, the hype there is gonna be really big as well. Mm-hmm. So how about you, anyways. MG? Though share yours though. Oh mine uh, for. Uh, well, my wish is... You, you'll see, guys. You'll see. You'll see. MG's wish suddenly changed from, from what he <laughs> said a while ago. Um, Just to play the video. Stability? <laughs> 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 just replay that video, guys. Yeah, just replay the video. Suddenly, no, 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 no. yeah, changed. but again, yeah, I wish uh, more, uh, more success on my streaming. Yeah, definitely. And good decisions <laughs> on 2023. Hopefully, hopefully I can land those good some good decisions. decisions in 2023. Yeah. Come on now. Because I mean, 2023, you're kind of still stuck on that uh, pre or after math of uh, COVID, so. Some, uh, some of the decisions are really kind of messed up uh, but hopefully this coming 2023 everything will be polished and more opp- opportunities as well and for uh, gth of course um more events land events because I'm, I'm a big mm-hmm. fan the moment that i saw the land event in uh on the sgs that's actually um one of the reasons why i uh, i played uh, ragnarok and even mmorpg is because of ragnarok land mm-hmm. events Yes. Ha, so, and uh, I'm going to add to that your wish will be the rebellion class, right? Rebellion class, please. New Year's GGH, wish. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Yeah, let's yeah, go. yeah. All right. But yeah, to, you know, since everyone, I think, is chilling in some parts of uh, different castles right now, we're not really <laughs> sure where to check them all out. Um, yeah, uh, for uh, New Year's Eve, dinner or new year's eve get to get gathering what kind of food are you going to be bringing mg like oh, what food will you be eating dude like i really want uh again like i mentioned uh one of the filipino delicacies is the uh, maha blanca mm-hmm. uh cheesy maha blanca that's actually one of the things they really want to see <laughs> uh, see yeah. always yeah. see though you don't eat them yeah. oh Maha Blanca. Maha Blanca, yeah. <laughs> um, of course, uh, the inf- infamous Shanghai rolls of the Philippines. Oh, ooh. Yeah? With the oh, sweet yeah, and sour yeah, yeah. Uh, dip. Let's go. Uh-huh. Um, and definitely Excuse- no more... Excuses, guys. For the last 10 minutes, we're going to speak yeah. about food. Uh, and definitely no more <laughs> spaghetti and minuto for New Year's. Because we already uh-huh. had that for... Uh, uh-huh. for I mean, last, I mean this last Christmas. Oh, so, yeah. but I want myself. How personally, I want more carbonara or <laughs> pesto. Pesto, I'm gonna agree with you with the pesto for carbonara. It depends how it's cooked, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, pesto is also a good option. Pesto, like, yeah. like shrimp pesto. Uh, uh, shrimp pesto. Oof, that's going to be nice, though. But yeah. Yeah, some uh, garlicky pesto will be nice Yo, as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's uh-huh, good. Uh-huh. Oh, that's, that's going to be good. That's good. Anyway, we are just watching this uh, Sura that's transformed into a Deviruchi. Yeah, and he's missing just a lot missing. of <laughs> <laughs> because, of the, because of that triple attack or raging trifecta blow. Okay, let's go, guys. Uh, let's go. Okay, okay. Miss, anyway. Uh, yeah, let's actually take this opportunity, MG, to uh, yeah. I want to thank you all for uh, yeah. you know tuning us, tuning with us in this uh this year for Warf Imperium and for GGH as well. Uh, thank you for participating in the events and for uh, di- uh, for um bringing out your thoughts, yes, and opinions during Warf Imperium session. And in behalf of me and MG, we thank you all for watching the streams as well. It has been a great year. Hopefully, next year will be a lot more better. Yeah, and. Yeah, advanced happy new year to everyone. Advanced it's going to be 2023 20, in a few days. Oof. Like, 
the MG. I mean, you need to add the words. No, no, I'm actually uh, suddenly flashing back. Every, everything is flashed back on, uh, on my side. So, But yeah, again, guys, thank you again as well. Uh, like uh, what James mentioned earlier, uh, it's an awesome year. And I mean, the the Warframe Imperium is not going to be entertaining without you guys as well, definitely those uh random jokes that we tried to pull off every stream uh -huh. and um, again our comments when it comes to uh with the fight scene and uh the strategies we do really appreciate that uh you know i think most of them are kind of positive as well on what we're saying mm -hmm. as well I, I think we're just saying what's in front of us technically mm -hmm. and... yeah personally i learned a lot you know watching everyone here in warm yeah. very man during um of the seven versus seven event as well our our asian masters oof, i learned a lot yeah and same time uh, i learned a lot about some players as well during the esgs uh that's actually one of the things that that uh that um caught my attention during the entire you know like it uh, uh they actually introduced their, uh, themselves like hi i'm from this guild hi i'm from this guild uh, I mean, uh, we are actually watching your stream, you and James. But James is kind of snubbed during that time. I'm not sure why. Uh, oh, he's, uh, maybe he's busy <laughs> on something, taking pictures with the CMs, maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah well, well in... MG is busy taking pictures with the cosplayers oh as well. Oh my god. But I mean, I mean, kidding aside, like uh, it, we do really appreciate uh, the. I mean, for for the community to welcome us on the Ragnarok scene, especially on GGH, right? So mm -hmm. it's a huge honor for us, me and James, to be part of the of, of this community, and for the Toffee Talks, the interviews, uh, the first interview in Toffee Talks. Like I was really nervous. Uh, I think ah. uh, James knows that, and uh, yeah, Kai and Kai was really nice. And yeah, yeah, no wonder his Toffee Talk is very successful. <laughs> He's, the uh, answer, yeah. your answer to Kai's questions, though. Oh my gosh, I still remember. Hey. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it has been a great year. Next year will be a lot more spicy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And uh, maybe you will have one more interview again in Toby Talk. Yeah, <laughs> so, but if that's gonna happen, like this time, we're gonna make it right. <laughs> 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 oh, and one thing, uh, one one of the things that uh, I can't forget the uh, the Emmy, uh, CM Emmy stream as well. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was really fun, fun and funny, and yeah. Yes. All right. First time and... in game that uh, somebody celebrated my death in game. Oh <laughs> yeah. Of course, that yeah. will happen because you wanted to tank that Lord, Lord of, of death. death. Yeah. I'm not sure why you uh, wanted to scout ahead. <laughs> you seeing a gunslinger. Basically, Come on now. Want, basically, want to flex something because I'm I'm the low level on the group. So you're, you're flexing your low level yeah, character come so on it's I not even to... transcended or anything yeah. <sighs> anyway it has been a pretty nice year and a lot yes, of events definitely. popped out uh expect you know a lot more events yeah, this following year uh a lot more spiciness <laughs> in uh everything and who knows you know just uh, wait for announcements make sure to follow the page follow uh join the rogg discord a lot of things happening there a lot of spicy things popping out and yeah, a lot more collaborations. Uh, again, we currently have our ROA and RO collaboration currently ongoing right now. Mm -hmm. And whew, <laughs> it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe maybe Kai will be hosting a Toffee Talk this Thursday. Uh, it's going to be on the 29th. Uh, well, wait for announcements. It's, it's, it's usually announced. Yeah. Every time we have a Toffee Talk days, session. Few days before the Toffee Talk. Uh, usually there is. Usually there is. But yeah. since it's the holiday season, you know, Christmas season, um, everyone's kind of busy right now. Everyone's kind of spending time with their family, their friends, and everything like that. Hopefully you all had or are still having, your, you're all still having a wonderful holiday season, Christmas season. Maybe some of you guys went back to work uh, a while ago. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're going to be working until the 30th. Or a little 29th, maybe. Yeah. Or you don't have a vacation because you're working in a field where, where you have double well, pay. Well, yeah. to be fair, if, if you're going to work on New Year, it's going to be double pay. So it's a win-win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a win-win for you. But 
Yeah, that's a pretty nice year. It and uh, oh, looking forward to more things is 2023. And uh, yeah, one thing, uh, last thing I want to ask you, MG, what are you looking forward to in this uh, upcoming year? Um, I think we've talked about this, about uh, like um, plan events, definitely. Like, I uh, want to see more land events for uh, Ragnarok especially. More land events and more tournaments, definitely. More tournaments, uh, GGH tournaments, then uh, cross-server tournaments. Uh, that's going to be really fun. Because again, mm. I think uh, the last 7v7 is an eye-opener for the GGH community. Um, regarding the skill level of, um, of the other server. Right, mm-hmm. so definitely, uh, we saw some adjustment coming from Dominari and the rest of the guilds. Um, they actually started, and definitely the next time that they're gonna face off again, I think GGH can take the championship away from the uh, away from uh, from the server out, out of the yeah the champion server again. Yes, all right. Definitely. So only a minute left before we're actually just ended right now. Let's go. All right, all right. again. Thank you all for all the guilds who participated in tonight's War of Imperium session. Have a happy holiday season. Happy holidays. Have a happy ha- Christmas season. And uh, yes. yeah, advance thank happy you. new thank year to guys. everyone. In behalf of me, MG, and GGH, of course, we want to thank you all for this uh, amazing year. And yep. yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, there will be more spicy things next year. More great things next year. And a nice Happy New Year to everyone. And Merry Christmas as well. Yes. All right. We okay. appreciate everyone. And yeah, this is going to be the last stream for the year. Again, uh, this has been a great year. Thank you for all uh, you guys uh, who support us. And uh, keep tuning in our streams. And for the yes. codes that MG has been giving away. There, there. That uh, Codes are there. Yeah. <laughs> there. There. <you> there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, it has been a wild ride, of course. That's it for the year. Again, this has been us. We are your casters. My name is James. And my name is MG. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>